Now it's time for a sensational dessert, cookies and cream ice cream cake. Oh, this is like a giant ice cream sandwich, and honestly, it would bring out the kid in anyone. Before I can make the ice cream, I have to start off with those cookie layers, two chocolate sandwich cookies, but giant sized. So to start the dough, I have one cup of unsalted butter that's at room temperature, and I'm going to sift in a cup of icing sugar. I'm going to beat this first on low speed to blend in the icing sugar and then increase it just to make the base of the cookie dough. Now that that's nice and smooth, I can add my six egg yolks. I'll add them with the mixer going on low speed. All right, that's all blended together so I can sift my dry ingredients. Starting with two cups of cake and pastry flour. I'll sift that out so it makes room for my cocoa powder, half a cup. I also need a quarter cup of cornstarch. And lastly, half a teaspoon of salt. I'll add this all at once to the bowl. If you're planning to make this recipe for a special occasion, you do want to plan for it. Start a day ahead. That way you have time to make the cookies, bake them, assemble them, and make the ice cream. Here we go. It makes a really soft cookie dough. So, of course, we'll have to chill it before we roll it. I want to shape the dough into two discs, and I'll just use the plastic wrap to help me do that. Now this is ready for the fridge to chill down. You want to give it at least two hours so the butter sets. And here is the dough chilled and ready to roll. A little flour on hand. And if you start getting into pastry making, a good wooden cutting board makes a great rolling surface if you don't have wood as a countertop. I'll bring in my trays. And sometimes you have to get creative in the kitchen. Where would you find a nine inch cookie cutter? Well, I don't know of one, but a nine inch fluted tart tin works beautifully. And then what I do is use the bottom of that tart tin to lift my cookie up and onto my baking tray. I'm making two slightly smaller sandwich cookies because they'll be the ones I crumble into my cookies and cream ice cream. Perfect. My cookies are ready for the oven. It looks like a lot of baking, but believe me, it's easy. I've preheated the oven to 325, and these only take 14 minutes to bake. You'll see they go shiny, and once the surface of the cookie goes matte or loses its shine, then you know they're done. These look nice. Go. Let me grab these. It's important to let the cookies cool completely on the tray. But now that they're cooled, it's time to fill them. And to create that cookies and cream effect, I use rolling fondant. Now I'll split this. This will be for my big cookie, and that will be for my little. I used flour to roll out my chocolate cookies, but when you're rolling fondant, you wanna make sure you're using icing sugar. And I just lightly brush the surface of the fondant with a little bit of water. And now I brush a little water on this side. I carefully lift the other one and put it right on top. A 
giant chocolate sandwich cookie. Now I can work on the smaller versions. There we go. There we go. And now it's time for the cookies and cream ice cream, which in this case, yes, it's about the cookies, but it's mostly about the cream. I start first with two cups of whipping cream. But it's not often you see an ice cream recipe that is 100% cream. That would just be too rich. So what I add is a cup of milk. And I do use whole milk, just like I used in the gelato. I'll add 3 quarters of a cup of granulated sugar and just a pinch of salt. I give it a whisk just to dissolve the sugar into the cream. Now for my ice cream freezer unit. I'll get the mixer going and pour in my ice cream base, but it's not time to add the cookies yet. I have to save that for the end. I have my ice cream just about done. So it's about two minutes from being completely frozen, and now it's time to add my cookies. I'm going to turn on the mixer and crumble in the cookies. I don't do that sooner because then it would actually mush up into the ice cream too much. There we go. I can still see pieces of the cookie, but some of the crumbs have woven through. All right, I'm going to take advantage of this ice cream being soft and mold it. So I have a nine inch springform pen that I've lined with plastic wrap. And this would work just fine. But if you have access to acetate that you would buy at a bakery supply store, and this clear plastic on the inside of the pan gives you a beautiful smooth edge to the center of your ice cream cake. Then with an offset spatula, and make it as level as you can, just like spreading frosting on a cake. So this is ready to pop into the freezer to firm it up. Give it a few hours. That way, it'll be easy to unmold. Here it is, set up firmly, so I'm ready to assemble my ice cream cake. The first giant chocolate sandwich cookie goes on the bottom. Release the center. Slide this onto my cookie base. You see where I'm going with this. And then you top it with the second giant cookie. Now, isn't that just a treat? I hope you'll take these ideas back to your own kitchen to bake and enjoy. I said the recipe serves 12 to 16, but I think it serves one. <laughs>